Welcome back to the Romanian River channel and my playthrough of Baltech. Okay, let's see how crazy this will be. Because it is a mill. Calculating course now, Commander. I don't need that mill. And the breathing space. I can get a couple of more commando bits. I'll probably cobble together a, sh a ship, a mech, or two. Bang noises draw your, you draw the share the mech where uh, we find Medusa assembling one of the leopards internal walls. There are already several panels stacked besides him. Beside him, Medusa. Yeah, he pauses then explains. There's a few cubic meters of that. Space, space back here. I'm making room so we can stretch without hitting the bunks. As reasonable as it sounds, the banks aren't going to like you modifying their property. Make the change easily reversible. You look over Manus's work. This is temporary change, yes? Blinks are quickly now. Yes, Commander. You say the word, and I can have this back the way. It it was in min in 90 minutes. 120 tops. Good as new. You know, good. Carry on. However, in the future, you get sign off before you start anything like this again. Are we clear? Yes, Commander, he says. Morale increased by one. Yeah, I kinda need the morale for fuck's sake. I've got the financial report. Eh, and for a penny, and for a pound. Give it a save, I think eight. And we've arrived. It's quite a green planet. Yep, proceed. Command on a sunny course for Lady Centralis jump ship. Search though, this moon is it's taking us to Exilus doesn't appear on any of my maps. Brings me to wonder, where exactly are we going, and how do you intend to get us there? Several hours later, uncharted space. That was a hell of a rough ride. My stomach is still doing somersaults. That's because those crazy bastards use a pirate point to get us here. Pirate point being. Now standard jump points are existing size systems proximity limit. Pirate jump points or pirate points for short are hellishly difficult to navigate because they tend to be much smaller than certain jump points and are also subject to the effects of planetary gravitation. As a result, the odds of suffering a missed jump when attempting to use a pirate point are high. If we'd suffered the missed jump, our, our, st so our stomach would be the least of our concerns. The leopard could have gone, gone irremedi irredi irreparably mangled. Hell, we could have been irreparably mangled. The cautionary holovids they showed us at the academy were stuff of nightmares. When exactly did you realize what Centralis crew was planning on doing? As we were on approach to the dock with the jump ship, it was way out of position to use any legitimate jump point. Putting two and two together, I guess at what they were I could guess at what they were doing. Here's the million bill qu see bill question, Mayor. Why didn't you say anything about this before we jumped? 
because it wouldn't have mattered if I had. We couldn't afford to turn down this job. Given the situation, I figured that ignorance was probably bliss. We'll talk about this later, Mayor, but for now, what's done is done. We're here and there's money to be made. Let's focus on the task at hand. The Argos crash site is here. Smack dab in the middle of a pirate straw. Oh, fuck me. The ship, the stronghold, and everything around it belong to a self styled bandit queen called Grim Sibyl. Nearly read that is Grim Gerbil. Her gang is the closest thing that Axis has to a ruling council. Grim Sibyl? Is that supposed to be scary? It sounds like the kind of name you choose out of a hat. What do their defenses look like? They're patchy at best, I don't think that Exodus gets a lot of visitors. They have strong anti-air cover, but little in the way of ground-based defenses. I'm seeing a lot of vehicles, but metal mech activity looks light. Define light battle mech activity, what we're talking about exactly. I can't put an exact number on it, all I have are surface scans to go on. From what data I do have, I'd expect the pirates be able to feel the full lance of light battle mechs, all of them in poor repair. There are mixed reports of something bigger, that'll be Grim Sebel's mech. I don't have any information on Tanager armor, but, but given the shape of the everything else is on access, I imagine it's being held together with tree gum and ball <laughs> bailing wire. If it's a fucking atlas or something even bigger, I'm going to hit this guy with a 2x4. What else do you have on Grim Sebel? Before they I never heard of her. Yeah, I hadn't either. Centralis Intel says the Grim Sebel mostly stays put on Axelus. But um, she's got at least half a dozen pirate gangs operating under her banner, so she must have something going for her. Sebel's bio is pretty sparse. There isn't a lot of meat here. Just to know that she came up under Lady Paula Trevelane, the pirate queen of the Tortuga Dominions. A bandit kingdom made up of entire systems of planets in the periphery. The Tortuga, the Tortuga Dominion's ruthless raids are a fall on the side of both Federated of the Federated Sons and the Torian Concorda. I guess that's impressive having a personal connection to Lady Death and all. Was born in Pirate King OK and rose through the ranks, become supreme leader of the of his legions in 3015. Her reputation for bravado and cruelty inspires devotion in her followers as much as it does fears in her enemy. Fears. Fear. And all. Lady Death, really? I swear, man, these pirate names are killing me. What do they expect, Yang? They're pirates, not poets. Their only <laughs> real job requirement is willingness to kill for money. I guess. Uh, yeah, I guess that's true, fair enough. Is there anything else of interest in that file, Darius? Don't give, leave us in suspense. Well, it looks like Trevelyan and Sibyl had a falling out. That's not terribly surprising given the Pirate Queen's track record. Sibyl managed to survive somehow, good on her, and she's been living on Axilus ever since. The rest of the report is just a rap sheet. Apparently our bandit queen has racked up an astonishing number of kills over the years, mostly against merchants and freighter crews, but kills all the same. She likes to get her hands dirty, and she knows her way around the battle that's all I've got. So the pirates have vehicles and turrets, maybe a few battle got it, keep it going. The entire structure is surrounded by radar guided anti aircraft guns. Your first task will be to take down the radar towers so that some IR can approach the alloy. After you've secured the crash site, she'll dock with the Argo and drop off the engineering team. And then they'll miraculously get a 200 year old wreck flying again. Lady Centrilla has bet a massive stack of sea bills that they will. For what it's worth, I believe that her chief engineer can pull this off. I'd never heard of Dr. Farah Murad before Lady Centrilla mentioned her, but I did some digging after our meeting. She was telling the truth, the doc has quite a reputation. It's supposed to be some kind of frontier engineering wunderkind, and a genius at bringing dead ships back to life. Ancestry, ancestry and more periphery. Periphery ingenuity at work, huh? Can't wait to see this more in action. Soon enough, you're gonna get the chance. Hopefully your skills are everything they're cracked up to be. Good hunting, Emmanuel. I'll be keeping an eye on you from up here. Okay. Looks like a decent lance. I'm going to get banged up to hell and back, as you can just feel it. I wonder if I still have 200 left by the end. 
uh, hopefully my friend with well, with good connections can uh, slice up a few of that. Okay, and the relic of the star Ligero. I believe it belongs in more suitable hands, namely ours. We drop on Axelis, shut down the Paris and cable, and hold out while our engineers bring the Argo back to life. This seems straightforward enough, but be careful, Emmanuel. We don't know for sure what you're going to find on that moon, and we've had enough surprises already. I'm pretty sure I have to kill Grim Sebel. I'm pretty sure I'll have to keep my little mech alive. Recently founded by Grayson, okay, the Grey Death Legion is composed of former planetary militia from the planet Trail 1. The Grey Death? Not even the Black Death? Okay, this is a big mission, I can already tell. Oh shit. Oh shit. Command interface initiated. Welcome to Axelus, Commander. It's every bit as charming as you'd expect the pirate occupied moon to be. You find Grim Sibyl's radar stations just radar station just ahead. Defenses appear to be limited to turrets and ground vehicles for the time being at least. We know that Grim Sibyl has at least one lance of Balmex, so be ready for anything. Be careful of the pirate's turrets as you make your way to the base. They pack an icy punch, and they also sensor lock your mechs. Aim for the turret generators, that will be the fastest way to neutralize the threat. After the pirate's radar station is down, we will clear and be cleared to proceed the Argo. Good hunting, Commander. Knock out the radar cover, crush any pirate resistance, secure as they are Okay, so first I have to take care of this. On my way! On my way. Got it. Yes, Commander. They have two turrets. Three... Probably. I wonder if I have enough ammo. Engaging target. Good to go. Coordinates received. Got it. Nearly down. Brought it down, Commander. Commander. Yes, Commander. Copy that.
Lovely laugh, she sounds pissed off. Have something ready for orders. Acknowledged. Target confirmed. What can I do for you? Glitch me, baby, one more time. Roger that. Firing on target. Building's trashed. That's a vehicle. Yeah, three vehicles so far. More than likely, it's three vehicles in any case. Copy that. Minimal. Damage minimal. Hey, <laughs> stop repeating. Waiting for orders. Moving to position. Target confirmed. Going to hit by another missile. That striker is probably going to hit. Is that it? I'm barely scratched. Good to go. Copy that. Oh, come on. Even I could see that wasn't going to miss. You disappointed me. So there's four vehicles over there. Orders. On my way. On it. They really do take well in terms of getting shot by lasers. Not so much by cannons, apparently. See? Enemy unit destroyed. Waiting 
on you, Commander. Got it. Another day, another tank. That, bye bye. that lance is gonna hit me. Right after I capture the location, isn't it? Not much. Losing armor. Dangerous if he hits. Enemy unit destroyed. I hear ya. Don't need to tell me twice. Give it a knife. your butt back there. I suspect this is gonna be a long mission so I'm going to cut it in about three to four minutes once I take the generator out over there, this one. What's that guy doing? Moving back and forth? Good to go. On it. That. Good to go. Standing by. She's shooting with her missiles on, isn't she? Firing. Waiting on you, Commander. Uh huh. Conserving ammo for now.
Did that guy break? Taking the shot. Gonna shoot this guy. Ow. I'm hit. I can't take much more of this. Waiting for orders. Confirm. Putting my weight into it. And that's it for this episode ladies and gentlemen because it is 28 minutes and yeah now it's just a mob up and going up. Then I'll have the confrontation with CB and her lands. But until next time, thank you for watching or more precisely surviving up until this point because you guys know the editing's kind of interesting and my voice has a melodic tone to it. If you like what you saw, feel free to hit the subscribe button, like button, it does help out the statistics of the channel, gets more visible, you know, stuff like that. And to be honest, at one point I would like to actually make this a job so I can do better content with better quality, more games, more coverage, you know, stuff like that. Take care.